let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, bang, bang. Good morning. Today I just rode a bike using these shared bikes via Alipay. That ride is super cheap and it only cost me about 0.68 RMB, but usually it's one kwai, which is still super cheap. And right now I'm going to Yan Lord Plaza. I'm going to the second floor and it's right above this temptation here. Hagen does. <laughs> And later when I finish here, we'll be heading out to Riverside 66 and we'll be having dinner at Blue Frog. It's a Chinese owned American restaurant chain. It started here in China and now it's all over Europe. And I don't know about America if they have it there. It's one of our favorite restaurants. But before that, I'm going to the office and say hello to the ladies. Going to the office, uh, classroom. Yes, that's a microphone. I won't be doing singing, I will just be doing a lot of talking today. <laughs> and then the ladies got me this because this is one of my favorite Chinese dishes. This one's really good with rice, but unfortunately, I can't eat the rice because I'm trying to refrain from eating rice or any types of carbs at the moment. So this is Riverside 66. This is actually on Happy Road. It's very close to that Starbucks reserve, and it looks like a spaceship from the outside. The layout is really good, and I like going here because it's not busy. Even before the pandemic, it's actually not busy, so it's really Good to go here but one of the reasons why it's not busy most of the shops here are very expensive okay sorry for my glasses I've been wearing them today because I've been reading a lot of scripts doing voiceovers and here's a beautiful brown princess So now we are heading to Blue Frog. Do you see those umbrellas? That's where it's at. It's right above the Starbucks on the second floor. So up until now, people are still wearing masks everywhere they go. But of course, when you're in a restaurant, you're dining or drinking, you're allowed to take them off. But over here, people don't fight about not wearing masks. It's just natural. And whatever the government says, everyone just follows. What I really like about China is that when the government says something, everybody follows without question, which makes things easier for everybody. Okay, we are here. We haven't been here since last year, so this is the first time this year. I am really having a hard time because I don't know what to order because back in the day I would not order any salad I would go for soup and for the main dish So I finally decided to order mango shrimp salad. Kids ordered chocolate milkshake, apple juice, sliders for the babies, calamari for me. <laughs> Dining here at Blue Frog would cost about 150 to 200 per person. Unless they have a promo because sometimes they have 
uh, on Mondays burger night so it's like buy one burger get one for free so that would be for example 78 and if you're going with a friend then you guys could split split that up so that's 78 divided by 2 when they do have the promo and you veil it then it's cheap And now we are at a supermarket and it's called Ole. This is where we go, this is one of the supermarkets we go to when we need to buy some of the imported stuff that we miss. We are just going to be quick here today. Next time I'm going to show you a complete tour of this supermarket. There are so many interesting stuff here. I mean for us it's interesting because most of the things that we see here, we don't normally see them in the Chinese supermarkets. Okay, so here we have some products from the Philippines. We have coconut chips, banana chips. I've never tried coconut chips though. Yeah, okay, so here we have dried mangoes. I believe they're from Cebu because it says Guadalupe Philippine dried mangoes. They're so good, but we're not going to get them today because they're sweet. Yeah, 17 mangoes are definitely from Cebu City. Look at the size of my hand and that steak, and that's for 259 RMB. 
so that's around 25 pounds. So we are now on my favorite lane, the condiment section. They usually have all the condiments here that I would usually use, which are not available in other supermarkets. That's why I am forced to come here, even though it's a bit more expensive than the other supermarkets, because they're usually just on stock here. And they also have different types of oil. I'm not sure if they're pricier, but I think they still are more expensive. So equivalent of one RMB in pesos is like six pesos. Um, Ten RMB is about one pound, and one dollar, one US dollar is about six or seven RMB. vegetables over here are definitely pricey because they're organic so these are the prices for eggs organic eggs That's for Kangkong or water spinach. Oh my gosh, so expensive. That's a look bati. That's my grandmother's favorite. And now the best part. Cheese is a staple in a house, so we all love cheese. We can't live without cheese. And it's so pricey over here. So, um, yes, if some people are coming back to the country, we would ask them to buy cheese for us. But otherwise, we will, you know, we have to sacrifice some of the things that we want for cheese. Now, look at the prices here. God, it's so pricey. I mean like 7,000 for that ham. Okay, so next time we're gonna make a video about the different supermarkets here in China because they say, they always say that China is cheap. That is not true. It depends on where you go and it depends on what you want to eat. But it's cheap if you will live like a local. Ooh, Filipino, Filipino pineapple. Definitely because the brand is dope. So now we just finished shopping and we're just waiting for a ride back home and as you can see today is Saturday it's the 4th of July but as you can see on this road it's quite empty it's quiet and even back then I don't think it was really busy 
but there were more people. But on Bingham Road, it's definitely busy. Okay guys, so I'll end the video here. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell. And if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I'll see you again soon. Bye!